spring has sprung, but unfortunately we're still in that battle between spring wanting to come out and winter just wanting to stay for a little bit longer. So this time of year for me, there is nothing more comforting and delicious than a London fog. And we are going to make one today. Uh, London Fog, if you're not familiar, is actually a tea-based latte using Earl Grey tea. And we actually do carry some teas here at First Line, so we are going to show you how you could even prepare that, and maybe even on your espresso machine, how you can use that as well. For this recipe, you will need just a few ingredients. First, you'll need some lavender buds, which you can either find in your grocery store spice aisle, or you might have to go to a natural food store to find some. Some vanilla extract, which can be suited to your taste, but about maybe a teaspoon or so at least. You're going to need some milk. Any milk of your choosing will work for this. About a quarter cup to a half cup or so. And of course, some Earl Grey tea, which definitely brings in that spring vibe. Uh, we're using the Harney and Sons blend, which we find to be a great quality tea. You can find this on firstline.com and we'll have a link down in the description if you'd like to get some. First, we're going to load our lavender buds into a little steeper, which if you don't have, you can certainly just put this directly in and strain this all out afterward. I'm kind of crushing the lavender buds in my finger as I'm rolling it, as I'm loading it into this steeper, just to release some of those aromatics that the lavender has. And honestly, this is just great to have in your home because if you're just feeling blue, Take a nice little whiff of some delicious lavender. Definitely makes your day feel better, for sure. Um, we're gonna use about a teaspoon in here. Or who knows, if you are all about the lavender, feel free to load up your steeper with as much if I could operate these things. All right, so we got that closed up. You put it into your cup. We're going to take one tea bag. We're only using a little bit of water, so one tea bag should be fine. But you certainly can use more or one or two if you need. So we got those loaded into our cup. We're gonna get some hot water. I'm just gonna take it straight out of our Slayer here. Um, I'm have about half a cup in here, but we're probably only gonna need maybe, actually let's see. Yeah, half a cup should be just fine. We're gonna load that in there. Let this steep for at least three minutes. So once you have your Earl Grey and the lavender in there, you're gonna let that steep for three minutes. I'm gonna place a little dish on this so that that stays nice and warm. Luckily, we have it in a double insulated glass from Bodum, so it should stay nice and warm while it's steeping. And we're gonna let that get really concentrated. While we have our Earl Grey and our lavender steeping, we're going to just steam our milk up adding a little bit of vanilla extract and some added sugar if you like it to be a little bit sweeter, but I find the vanilla is just perfectly enough. We're going to use our steam wand here, purging out any excess water, making sure you want that nice dry steam. And we are going to load in our pitcher and just steam away. Mm, it smells so good, just with the vanilla. back woohoo make sure you always wipe your steam wand off purging that our tea and our lavender should be done I think mm, nice let me grab a nice little spoon so we can strain this just like my auntie candy from England showed me Twisting that, making sure you get every little bit of Earl Grey you can out of that tea bag. Taking out our lavender as well. Mmm, that smells so nice. The lavender is just there. You can kind of just smell it on the nose, uh, which is really nice because I find that lavender really kind of hits you after you've drinking it. It just is a nice subtle flavor that you add into that Earl Grey. It complements the citrus that's in the Earl Grey very nicely. Now we're just going to add our steamed milk. Mm. And why not? You can garnish this just a little bit with some lavender buds just on top. Because how pretty is that? 
definitely need to take a sip of this. It's getting those nice aromatics from our lavender, which are very safely edible. So do not worry about the garnish on top there. So you just have a nice sniff, relax and take a sip and enjoy your London fog. Mm. This is so perfect, especially on our April shower or snow shower days as they seem to be currently in 2018. But I hope you find this recipe simple and easy. Very few ingredients, which will have the whole recipe linked in the description below so you can enjoy yourself. I'm Lindsay with First Line. Thanks for watching.